Okay, I set this to uh, simulation mode just so you can see that. Yes, we have map data. Hey, that's lovely. However, however, and again, this will be covered in the book. The points of interest database and the address database, this is OpenStreetMap after all, not as good as Garmin Maps, but it does work, and I'm going to show you a little work around here. Now, on my screen here, I have Tone Shop Guitars. This is their address, 15317 Midway, Addison, 75001, and they're right there. But the problem is, if I try to type in that address, this is not listed in open street. The Midway Road is there, but 15317, so if I try this, I'll show you what I mean. So, address, and I'm going to spell the city, and this, um, okay, and hold on a second. Doing this one-handed sucks. Addison, all right, so house number, as we saw, is 15317, so 15317, and this is going to be Midway Road, okay, so it's found Midway Road, but, yeah, that's the closest address it will find. Now, this doesn't happen for all addresses in OpenStreetMap, but for a lot of them, but I'm going to show you the work around here. So let me go back to the main screen here. Now, I have Tone Shop guitars here, and I have uh, there it is. Now, what you can do in Google Maps on the desktop versions, I'm going to go ahead and zoom that in. And uh, right here is where the entrance is before the shop. So if I click that, so a little icon shows up at the bottom of the screen, it shows the coordinates. If I hover over that and click that, what happens on the left here is uh, uh, these coordinates. I'll highlight that so you can really see it. Now I'm going to punch that in directly to the Garmin, and then I'll be able to get there. So I'll show you how that's done. So I'll go to where to, and if I go down the screen, I have the option for coordinates. So what I do is I'm going to format that. Usually the format is set to decimal, but if you set it to uh, uh, decimal, yeah, how, how's that said? Decimal degrees, I think. I don't know the exact terminology for it. Anyway, DDDMMSS, which means degree, minute, second, which is what this is. That is degree, minute, second. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in. You only have to do this once and it will remember it. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and go back a screen and type it in. So this one is 32 north, 32, 57, 33.3, .3, and west. Uh, that's 96.50.19.3. Okay. West. 096.50.19.3. Done. And next. Now, from here, just so I wouldn't have to type that in all the time, I could just hit save and save it, but I'm just going to hit go. Now, just so you're aware, once it starts going here. Okay, simulate, please. Yes, go. And off we go. Let me just mute the volume here. There we go. While that's showing up. Now, here's the thing. Is that, uh, yes, this works. You can do the coordinate thing get to where you need to go and now there is a way to do this on Google Maps mobile to get coordinates out of it but I don't really think I need to show that because if you're using the phone you would otherwise use that to navigate with this is just for if you intend on using the Garmin for things like this so now what we have is we got 
map. We've got our 2020, May the 2nd, that was the last release, maps in here. Uh, it's for the entire in 48, lower 48 states of the United States. And uh, yeah, this it works, it works. Now the, the point of interest database, it's not as good as the Garmin. Uh, you will have to sometimes type in coordinate information. If it can't find the address, I just showed how to do that with Google Maps on the desktop. And uh, ultimately, if you're going to stick with one of these, this is good enough. So again, I got the book. So if you need more information, written documentation, it's there. So check it out. See y'all later.